to our channel. This is Tamis Kingle, and I'm super excited to be here again. Of course, you know, this is going to be another very educative video, very informative. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please click on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. So, as this is subscribers, thank you so much for supporting this channel. I really, really appreciate you. Of course, Tamis Kingle is where you learn about healthy skincare tips, simple DIYs, you know, and of course, I do product review here for you. So if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Please be part of this big family. And yes, please don't forget to follow Timmy Skin Glow on Instagram. We have our skincare blog now up and running. The link is in the description box below. Please click on the links to read daily um, blogs on our skincare and um, blog, okay? And, um, Yes, our product is there also. Please, if you have not tried Timmy's Kinglo product, please patronize this brand. Patronize Timmy's Kinglo, support us. You know, we have very effective skincare product for you. If what you want is recipes, we have our skincare training as well. If you want rebranding packages, we offer that service as well. WhatsApp number is displayed on the screen. Please chat me up for business only. Now, so this video is for our skincare formulators. If you are a skincare formulator, this video is for you. If you are into simple DIYs, you like doing DIY, you like doing your product yourself, this video is for you. Watch to the end, if possible, get a pen and paper. Okay, because I'm going to be sharing with you what I call key points to effective formulation. These key points I'll be sharing with you in this video. If you can follow them to the latter, your, your formulation will come out very well for you. So number one, before you start any formulation, what you should get is your recipe. Get your recipe first. Not just any recipe, make sure those recipes are effective. Make sure you have a very effective recipe. Don't just guess, okay? Don't just guess ingredient, but guess the quantity and guess what to mix together. Don't do that. We are dealing with the human skin. So be very careful about it. So once you get your um, recipe, the next thing you should get is the ingredient get effective ingredient get original ingredient that will make your formulation super effective it is wanted to get a very nice recipe and another thing to get very effective original um, ingredients okay if you have a challenge with getting original ingredient you can send me a whatsapp message we'll supply to you as well supply ingredient also so get your recipe get effect uh, original ingredient and number two, now it's time for formulation. So get a formulation table. Get a formulation table. A formulation table consists of your ingredients, the quantities, the percentage, you know, and uh, the pH of the product. So, for example, if you are producing a facial cream, you should have a sheet of a, a notepad where you have all the recipes listed there, and then you have the quantity. And then what pH do you want that product to be at the end of the day? You're going to write it down. And you're also going to write the date of that production, of that formulation. The Getting the formulation table helps you to track errors in production. So, if, for example, you supply a, a badge of product in uh, December and you're getting some kind of complaint from customers, the feedback are not so nice. How do you track it? You go to your formulation table and then you look at what and what did you put in that production? What was the pH of that product? Okay, this is how you get to trace the error and then fix it. So you get your recipes, get original ingredient, and then get your formulation table. Now you have started formulating. This is where I'm giving you my um, key points now. If you are doing a whitening product and you keep following the same recipe, you keep doing it, it's not working well for you. This key point I'm sharing with you now could be the reason your product is not really coming out well. So, for example, here yeah, I'm going to be talking about whitening, whitening powders, their pH balance, their pH of whitening powders. Do you know the pH of your whitening powders? If you don't know the pH of the whitening powder you are using in your formulation, how then will you know the pH you're supposed to give that product at the end of the day? Okay, for example, I'm doing a, a whitening facial cream 
and I'm using um, licorice powder that is pH 4, you know, when, now, when, um, okay, that's pH 4, and then I'm using um, alpha button that is pH, can work with pH 4 to 9, and I'm using a snow white powder that can work within the range of pH um, 3 to pH 6.5. What pH, and I'm using giga white that is within the pH of pH 3 and pH 6. Okay, let me lay emphasis on licorice and giga white. My licorice in this formulation is licorice, I'm using licorice and giga white. At the end of the day, what should be my, the pH of that, my facial cream? If giga white can work with a pH of 3, if your facial cream has a pH lower than 3, that product will not work for you. The giga white in that recipe will not work for you. It's just a total waste. Now you can see where the issue comes in. Some of you produce, and at the end of the day, you don't check your pH at all. If you're not checking the pH of your product and you're not balancing it, pH is like the icing on the cake. If you get a very sweet recipe, very effective recipe, that's some recipes that I will just see, looking at it alone, I know, oh, this product is going to be great. If you have a great, very nice recipe, you have original ingredients, you produce neat, sanitized tools, you work very well, you package it excellently, and the pH is not okay. That product is not going to work well for you. It's not going to give you the result it's supposed to give. So take note of your pH balancing. If you don't know how to check pH of a product, you don't know how to balance the pH of a product, I'm going to put a link in the description box. I already did a video on that. So you can help yourself go and watch it and see how to check the pH of your product and how, how to balance the pH. And you should understand also that Certain powders cannot work well in your soap. Okay, there are some powders you can use very well in your lotion, in your cream, but you cannot use them in your in your soap. Okay, some are not so compatible. For example, you don't expect to use a um, kojic acid in your soap. It's not going to work well for you. You have to use kojic tea because the pH are different. So this is what I'm saying in a nutshell. I don't want this video to be so long. Know the pH of your powders. Know the pH of your powders. So if you are using licorice, licorice has a pH of 4. It works well with pH 4. Giga White works between pH 3 and pH 6. So if you are using Giga White in a product, whether in your soap, in your cream, in your scrub or whatever, of course you can use Giga White in the soap, you can use it in scrub, you can use it in serum. If you are using Giga White, make sure the pH of that product at the end of the day is between pH 3 and pH 6. It shouldn't be lower than 3. It should not be higher than 6. That's what it means between the range of 3 to, to 6. It means it should not be lower than 3 and it should not be higher than 6. It shouldn't be 6.1 or even 6.2. So if you're using licorice, Licorice, you can work with pH 4. Giga White, I said you can work, work between pH 3 and 6. Your Seppi White can work between pH 5 and 7. Seppi White, of course, you can use it in your soap. It's very good. So if you are using Giga White as pH 3, that can work with pH 3 and 6, and you are using um, Seppi White that works between pH 5 and 7, what should your pH be at the end of the day? What is the answer? It means you have to balance between four. You can, if pH is, Seppi White can work in five to seven and Giga White can work five to six. It means your Giga White, if you're using that product, your pH has to be five, 5.5 or six. Hope you get it. If you are using Giga White in a formulation that says Giga White should be three, pH should be three to six, and you have Seppi White that says Seppi White should be pH 5 to pH 7, it totally means you have to bring your Giga White pH up to the level that makes it compatible with the Seppi White. Snow White powder can work in the pH of 3 to 6.5. So it means if you are using Giga White in the formulation, in your product, and you are using Seppi White, and you are also using Snow White powder, Snow White can work between 3 to 6.5. It means you have to bring the Bring raise the pH of the product to to the pH level that balances up with the whole three. So it has to be like the range of pH five or five point five. 
the same thing with your kojic dip. Kojic dip can work in a in a in a pH of four to nine. Alpha botting can work in a pH range of four to nine. What I'm saying is that when you are combining your powders together, you should know what pH it should be when you are combining. I'm not saying your pH must pH of your product must be five every time. No. Look at for the pH of the other powders you are combining together and make sure you are you, you are getting a pH level that is compatible for the powders. Okay, I hope you get it well. So you might be using liquor rice in your formulation. If you're using only liquor rice, that's fine. pH 4 is okay. If you're using just giga white, you can do the pH 3, pH 4, 4.5, or 5 or 6. That's fine. But when you are combining other powders and you want those powders to work well in your product, you want those active to really work well, you want those powders to be active, then make sure you are giving it the pH that it helps them to be active in the product. So it wouldn't look like you are wasting those ingredients in the product. And of course, no other ingredients you have to put to bring out the effect effectiveness of your ingredients, okay? That's where your propelling glycol comes in. That's where, of course, where you have the pH if it's necessary, you use them. And you should also know that apart from pH level, there are some powders that are not compatible. There are some ingredients that are not compatible. When you put such ingredients together, your product will react. It can react in the skin or it can react in the product itself. You see the product looking somehow, you should know those ingredients are reacting already. They are not compatible. So if you want to know more about skincare, formulation you want to know more about skincare ingredients you want me to be your mentor you want me to guide you and put you through don't just do guessing formulation no learn from scratch get the in-depth knowledge send a whatsapp message to me via the number on the screen let's talk about our skincare training we have skincare training going on for natural skincare formulation it's a two-week class if what you have if what you are interested in is in just the pro mixing, we have pro mixing ebook. Pro mixing is not a class, it's an already compiled ebook, and these are my customized recipe. So many of you got my whitening base cream ebook, and the feedback I've been getting is so are so interesting. I told you it's my recipe customized, and you can go on our Instagram page and see reviews in your comments in the highlight section of our page. I pinned them in the um, comments and the reviews there for you to see. When I tell you something, just believe it. Whether you're getting my promising ebook or you're getting my natural skincare formulation class or the ebook or my whitening base cream ebook, they are to make recipe. Solely my recipe customized. These are recipes I sat down to work on myself. I tested them and they are so effective. So once you train with us, of course, you're gonna get value for every penny. Don't forget to shop to me skin good product. I hope you find this video interesting. If you have any question, please drop it in the comment section. I'll be here to reply you. Okay. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.